What's going on warriors of the shadow fight universe? I am back with another shadow fight arena video and today I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use Kibo like the goddess of the shadow fight arena. Let's begin by taking a look at the talent tree at level two. You're gonna go with the fierce onslaught. At level four, you should immediately get rid of shadow excellence and put shadow agility. This is going to be the game changer for the Kibo character. At level six, you're gonna go with the master. You'll be doing onslaught with less shadow energy. This is another game changer for this character. Get your Kibo to level eight and you can pick any ability that you want. I don't think it matters that much. Just pick whatever works well for you. When you get your Kibo to level 10, you're gonna pick that ability called the Shadow Supremacy. That ability is what takes Kibo to the next level. Kibo will be able to dodge so many shadow attacks with Shadow Onslaught. This is gonna be a game changer. I feel sorry for all the characters in the arena because Kibo is coming for them. If you're still coming across this channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get some good likes for this video, 1000 likes would be nice. So today's video is all about shadow agility at level 4, the master at level 6, and if you have Kibo at level 10 then it's gonna be the shadow supremacy. Unfortunately my Kibo is not level 10. I'm gonna reveal this ability anyway. We are in the playground, let's see what this thing is all about. Alright guys this is it. The combination of the Shadow Onslaught and the Master will make Kibo become the flash of the Shadow Fight arena. She will be able to move through big distances within a short period of time. Every time Kibo dashes, Shadow Onslaught is activated and she can move faster. She will be able to evade so many attacks, she will counter the opponent without them knowing what the heck just happened. In this first match, I was just warming up. There is one negative about using this Shadow Onslaught while dashing. You have zero defense when you dash. But as soon as you get your Kibo to level 10, you can equip the Shadow Supremacy and then you will become invincible. Do you know how many stuff you can do with that skill? You can dodge so many shadow attacks. You can dash towards Helga when she tries to hit you with the light attack. You will be protected. You will be able to take out those Legion players with the uninterruption interval just by dashing back and forth. So right now we evaded the fire guard with the quick movement within a short period of time. This skill is absolutely amazing. Comment down below if you have figured this out. Do you guys really use this skill? I have seen so many skillful players on YouTube but I have never seen them use shadow agility. You should change your tactics and use shadow agility. You'll become unstoppable. Here comes Yuka and her nasty Dadao. Heavy attack combined with the shade is just too much. Kibo is gonna be excellent at level 10. I would recommend for you guys to practice this ability. You will catch people off guard in PvP. Shadow agility, the master, and shadow supremacy is so awesome. You will be able to dodge so many attacks, including ranged weapons. When you see an incoming ranged weapon, you just dash forward. You become invincible. That is if you get your Kibo to level 10 and equip the Shadow Supremacy. We just knocked out this Yuka. Let's see who is next on the list. So how many of you guys like using Kibo? Do you have her in your team? Comment down below. So here is Kibo and Helga. Like I said before guys, you can use the advanced, I mean you can use Shadow Agility and Shadow Supremacy to dodge all the light attacks for Helga. You just dash towards them and you become invincible. This Kibo technique can also be used to dodge so many shadow attacks. You just dash, become invincible and all the shadow attacks will miss you. So we are trying to take this Helga down. Basic attack, dash backwards with the shadow agility. So I tried to dash there but the control wasn't responding. What should I do to take out this Helga? The rolling waves didn't go through. Should I use my shadow attack? I don't think so. The bots at level 11 are just too crazy. Every time I try to use the 1000 cuts, they just end up dodging it. 
I have tried it so many times, it just does not work against the bots. They know exactly how to counter every single shadow attack. This is a different match. We are fighting Shang the Monk from the Dynasty faction. Finally, Kibo can now handle Shang's shadow attacks. Just get her to level 10 and then put the shadow supremacy. Every time you see Shang do a shadow attack, you just dash with the shadow onslaught and you will become invincible. This is gonna be a game changer. Kibo is gonna be excellent at level 10. Do whatever you can to get Kibo to level 10. Rolling waves, look at that dash backwards, evading that long range Guandao like no tomorrow. Dash backwards again, look at that huge distance. Hit Shang with the ranged weapon. Rolling waves, dash backwards. Use that sudden trick to evade the wild wind. We hit Shang with the ranged weapon, he drops dead. Another match, here comes Hong Ju, the crazy dynastic character. This guy is excellent. If you know how to use him, you're gonna be too OP. So I'm trying to play it safe. The only downside of the dashing onslaught is that you have zero defense. But if you get to level 10, you get rid of that with the Shadow Supremacy. These bots just know how to dodge their thousand cuts, which is why I don't really use it a lot in this video. I have tried it so many times, they just counter me all the time. Slam Hongju to the ground, low attack. Dash backwards with the Shadow Agility. Look at the distance between me and Hongju. I can close it real quick. Sudden trick. Rolling waves. I tried to dash there and Hongju caught me. If I had the Shadow Supremacy, that wasn't gonna happen. So Kibo has now become good. I mean, she has become OP. She is now excellent. I recommend you try this technique in PvP. Comment down below if you use Kibo a lot. If you are still new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Click that like button and let's get some good likes for this video. Here comes Mr. Jack Bulwark, the most annoying bot in the game. Capable of doing stuff that you don't expect. I don't know how many times this Bulwark has beaten me, but I think I have figured out how to destroy him. The key to defeating Bulwark is patience. Try to get close, but not too close. Wait for him to attack first, then you counter. So I dash backwards, now I get close, I wait for him to attack. Then I catch him with a quick attack. So he blocked that rolling waves. Now I'm gonna wait for him to come close. Now he's vulnerable, I attack. Dash backwards, wait for him to attack. Then I catch him with a quick counter. Dodge everything, quick counter attack. And just like that, you knock out Bulwark. It's a game of patience. Get close to him, but do not engage. Wait for him to attack, then you attack him. If you guys really want to pick the best team for PvP, then you, sh you should check one of the videos that I'm gonna link up here. I made a video on how to select the best team to win many matches in PvP. Check out that video and you are gonna create a team that's gonna help you win so many matches. Like nobody is gonna, nobody's gonna stop you at any given moment. I'm gonna link that video up here and you can check it out. Or you can check it out from the description section, it's gonna be there. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let's get 1000 likes for this video. Comment down if you like the Kibo character. If you have your Kibo at level 10, then you should try using Shadow Agility, the Master, and Shadow Supremacy. Use the dashing to evade many nasty attacks. You can avoid shadow attacks, you can avoid ranged weapons just by dashing. Just equip Shadow Supremacy, Shadow Agility, and the Master, you will become unstoppable. Here is another Jack Bulwark. I think I am done for the day. Enjoy the remainder of the video. Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.